you want to buy cheap and reliable MT for 2K19, go check out DVDJ.com and use code WITNESS for 5% off your purchase. Yo, what's good guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K19. My team in this video, we're going to be building my God squad. Before we go any further though, guys, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers and I really want to hit that, that milestone ASAP. So if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the grind to 20,000 subscribers. Would mean the world if you were new to the channel and you hit that sub button. But like I was saying, guys, we're going to be building my squad. If you're active on my channel, you would know. I bought up a couple. I bought a couple new cards recently to pick up the Yasi Opal Calm alone. But before we, before I build my squad, you know, I want to see what what squad 2K thinks the best for me. This is the best available players. Now it's not going to be the squad that I'm going to run, but we're going to try it out. I may make a video one day using whatever this squad's going to be to see if 2K knows my cards better than I do. So we're going to check out the best available squad. This is what it has picked for me. As my backup, as my point guard and shooting guard, we've got John Stockton and Brandon Roy. Small forward, Kevin Durant, Karl Malone, Wilt Chamberlain. These three right here are pretty accurate in my opinion. Off the bench, we've got Timmy D and Bill Russell, Tracy McGrady, Chris Webber, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Dikembe Mutombo, and Wes Rook. It's pretty good. You know, the size is definitely pretty good, but nah, th this just ain't it. I mean, I, I, don't think, I don't think I could run this, but I might make a video using this squad right here and see if 2K do actually know what they're talking about. So here we have again, we have a fresh board. We're gonna, we're gonna put the Galaxy Opals in first. You already know my, my, my starting big man is Will Chamberlain. I mean, this card is just, I honestly cannot fault this card as a big man. There's nothing he can't do. He's obviously a post guard. He can take it inside. Now his mid range shooting and his three ball shooting may not seem that great. Dunking stats are insane. Blocking and rebounding just defensively, he's a god and he's got some decent speed. But like I was saying, you may not think that he's got the best shooting stat. Now, he can shoot the mid-range really well, and Will's the kind of player, he's only shooting it if he's open anyway. But if we actually go to him right here, he shoots from three, 41%. That is pretty decent, in my opinion, for someone that has not the best looking stats. And from field, he's a 64% field goal uh, shooter. So in my opinion, that's freaking pretty good. So that's where I'm putting him right here. Now, for my new Galaxy Opal, which is Karl Malone, I asked you guys what's the best position to run him at because people run him big men like Bill Russell and freaking Karl Malone at point guard and shooting guard. I'm not going to go down to the guards, but I ran a poll and the leading position that just won it was small forward, and that's where I wanted to play this Karl Malone was small forward. So that is the two Galaxy Opals right here, and this Galaxy Opal, man, I love this card. Not only do I love the card art, I love the way he plays, man. He's six foot nine, 99 offense, 99 defense. I got some red Kyrie's on him to give him speed with ball. Um, I mean, just the stats, man. He's a post gold as well. He's basically a smaller version of Wilt, but he's quicker and can shoot a lot. So he's got the slashing and sharpshooting takeover. You know, just can't fault this card. 17 Hall of Fame badges. So we're running him at small forward. Um, then it goes to my power forward. I'm running Chris Webber now. I love this card. He's honestly so good. And the reason I love Webber so much is I don't use him. He's just there to get rebounds. If he's open, he can knock it down from seriously anywhere. Mid-range and three-point shooting is really nice. If he's wide open by the three-point line, I'll kick it out to him. He'll knock it down for me. But he's not a player that I've got to worry about. Like, oh, I'm going to try and get a bucket with Chris Webber. He's just there. If he's open, I'll give it to him. If not... He's just grabbing rebounds. He's blocking shots because he can do all of that. Block is a 93. Defensively, he's great. Box out and rebounds in the 98s. Really good card. Just haven't had a real reason to move him from that position. So I've just left him there. Now it goes to my point guard and my shooting guard. Now my point guard is the new and improved Tracy McGrady. I mean, I had to lock in T-Mac, man. This card's a beast. He's a beast. Those stats right there, 97s in the mid-range and three-point shooting. With my coach, they're all 99, so there's no need for a shoe. A speed shoe would be nice, but bro, he's quick as hell already. I'm loving that Tracy McGrady. I've had a couple games of triple threat with him. I'm going to quickly check his price, because apparently he is going for under a milli finally. 
yeah but still it's just the same as what I picked him up and I don't think his price is going to change unfortunately and for my shooting guard is going to be Kevin Durant I see a lot of people run Kevin Durant at the shooting guard and being 6'9 if you get matched up against an actual shooting guard Kevin Durant will be able to bully him and KD man I gave KD a speed shoe but his mid-range and three-point shooting is all 97s, 96s with my coach. They're all 99s, so he's absolute god. And personally, if you guys are not new to the channel, you would know that how much I love KD cards. I love his release. I'm personally really good at his release. So that right there is my starting five. Now, I know Chris Webber sort of looks out of place. You've got all these goats, and Chris Webber isn't really a known power forward, but bro, that's how I run it. That's how I like it. That is my starting five right there. Now we have, because I run a 10-man lineup, as you guys probably already know, my backup center is going to be Bill Russell. Now, I haven't had a chance to try out Russell, but apparently he is really good, and literally I see people running him at the point guard position. I don't know if that's because he's pretty quick. He's box out. Wow, look at all those 99s right there. Box out, rebounding, all 99. Steal, shot contest, block, all 99. That is crazy. Um, post guard. Mid-range in the 80s. He can't shoot the three. Dunking stats are goated as hell. 16 Hall of Fame badges. That's a pink diamond right there. Carmelo's a Galaxy Opal, and he only has one extra Hall of Fame badge. That is really good. I replaced him for my Greg Oden, and I don't think I'm going to regret it. I mean, I locked in the Hall of Fame set, so I thought I'm going to try and get as many of those cards in my squad as possible. But honestly, I think Bill Russell and T-Mac are the only two. Now, my backup point guard is going to be Russell Westbrook still. Now, I'm a big Russell Westbrook fan, but I also really like this card. He is six foot three. The shortest I normally like to go is six foot six, so they can contest people like AK-47 and Danny Granger. So he is kind of small, but I do like the way he plays a lot. Mid-range are in the 94. He's got a three-point shoe on him to give him a 95 and the open shot three, but with my coach, it's a 99. Other than that, contested and off the dribble threes are 94. Dunking stats are good. Passing stats are all really good. Steals are 95. Rebounding and box out are in the 90s. 98 in the speeds. Plus to go along with 10 Hall of Fame badges, of course. He's got Limitless in the gold and everything like that. So that's my backup point guard. Now, it may come to the stage where it's just like, nah, Russ isn't working anymore. I'll probably then replace Westbrook with either Pink Diamond LeBron or Diamond Denny Granger. Actually... Speaking of those two players, we might quickly check their prices out because I do have nearly half a million that I don't want to spend. But if in case of an emergency, you know, I would spend it. LeBron, that's with a speed shoe. He'll sell for probably over the 400k mark, which is kind of a little bit too much. I don't really want to spend that. But I am catching dubs, so there's no real point of me needing to do that. Denny Granger, he's dropped so much in price than what he used to be. But... He's still really good, and I would probably pick up Denny Granger over LeBron because of the shooting stats. But as of right now, Russell Westbrook is my backup point guard. My backup shooting guard is Brandon Roy. Now, I do I do wish that I sold my Brandon Roy before T-Mac because um, his price has dropped a little bit. But honestly, I don't really mind because I don't want to sell my Brandon Roy. I really, really, really like this card because I did sell my Vince Carter to pick up Brandon Roy. But, I mean, his price is going back up, to be honest. I really like this card. I'm not worried about it because I do want to keep him on the squad. Let's check out Vince Carter's price. The limited. So, he his price is going back up a little bit as well. Um, but, obviously, I wanted to sell mine so I could pick up Carmelone ASAP. So, now we have Power Forward and Small Forward. Small Forward, that's an easy pick. Actually, maybe not. Because this is the problem right now is I've got... Scotty Pippen and PG. Offensively, PG is much better. PG stroke with the ball, man, is crazy. You see the three point stats there, all 99 with my coach. I love this PG card where I'm playing Triple Threat or Unlimited. But I think what I will do is probably run an 11 man lineup. If I need that defense, I can then bring Scotty on. But I normally just run. I normally run a 10-man lineup, but I think it's probably going to be smarter from now on to run minimum, at least, an 11-man lineup so I can have that defense to come on if someone has someone like a Giannis or, you know, even if it's like a Kevin Durant that I'm having trouble slowing down, 
bring on Scotty Pippen. And for my power forward, it is one of the a player that I really want to see. Where the hell is he? A player that I really want to see at Pink Diamond of, and that is AK-47. I mean, it's AK, man. With that 6'9 height and that jump shot to go along with that three-point shooting, that open shot three is a four, five, six, is a 97 with my coach. 97. I mean, it would be cheesy to run him as my backup point guard, but it's just kind of a bit too much for me. I kind of at least like to run, you know, small forwards or guards at the guard position, like these guys right here. I don't like to run. Like, if I had Galaxy Opal Blake, I just wouldn't feel right running him at point guard or shooting guard. Um, but we got Carl Malone right there instead of Blake Griffin, who, in my opinion, is the better card. But this is my squad right now. Honestly, I'm really happy with it. Really happy with it. If you guys want gameplay of this squad, make sure you comment that down below and let me know. But that is the video for today, guys. Updating you on the Team W2K Gold Squad. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Is there any changes you think I should make? Personally, I'm loving my squad. We catch a lot of dubs, so I'm pretty happy with it. Shout out of this video goes to the YT Vlogger. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you commenting on the vids lately. But again, guys, thank you all again for watching. Leave a like and subscribe on that grind to 20K. It's been witnessed.